This can be a demonstration of Rudy Hill's and Eric Dahl's implementation of an ALU on the D10 lightboard. Each mode is represented on the seven segment display. So for example, this is arithmetic mode. If we choose this button here, it changes to logic. We set that back to zero, zero again. And if we set this to one, zero, it goes into comparison mode. And finally, Knight Rider mode. Other than Knight Rider or Magic mode, each mode has different operations that can be changed by these two switches here. So for example, this is now multiplication and back to addition. And for logic, this is now or mode or, or operation. Um, yeah. This is going to be a demonstration of the arithmetic mode. Now the default zero zero represents addition mode, so we could add one to zero, these four bits. Now we could add two, and then let's add, um, let's add an eight, so ten works fine. Now for subtraction mode, we could have, let's say, a 6 minus a 2, uh, sorry, uh, hmm. oh my bad, my bad, that's actually uh, a 4 minus a 1, I don't know what I was thinking, 4 minus a 1 with these 4 bits, the first, other than the operation mode, these are the 4 bits represent one number. These four bits represent another number. We can actually have negative numbers here. So let's say uh, we have zero minus, let's say, let's say four. Let's say four. Uh, that little LED represents that the number is negative. So we have. 4 minus 0, no LED. But if we put, let's say, a 7, 0 minus 7, that's going to be a minus 7. Now for multiplication mode, which is 1, 0, it multiplies this entire 8 bit number by 2. So 1 times 2, 2, 1 times 3, 6, 1 times 7, 15. Now, if you, you overflow, let's say we put in, uh, this would be, well, if it overflows, it that little light represents that there is an overflow digit. Similarly, if we put this mode into divide, 1, 1, and we have one to divide one by two, we get a remainder. This is a demonstration of our logic mode with the number 10 and the number seven. So when we're anding these, the output is what we expected. When we order them, all of them should be let up as they are. For exclusive or, now finally not, whatever the switches are off, the LED should be on, whatever the switches are on, the LED should be off. And that's exactly what we get. Demonstration of our comparison mode, as you can see by the C on the left. Now we're co we're going to be comparing uh, the numbers eight and the and seven. So when we're testing for equality, it should return zero as we expect. They're not eight and seven are not equal. When we are testing which whether x is greater than y, obviously yes, eight is greater than seven. Returns one as we expected. 
and if we test for if x is less than y, 8 is not less than y, so we should see a 0, which we do. Now when we want to see which one, when we want to print out the greatest of the two, the greatest of x or y, we should see 8, and we do.